Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my Buffalo Sabres at Washington Capitals preseason game one recap. Now I didn't get to watch it because I was working, but uh, I'm going to see if they have it on the NHL Network. If not, uh, I'm going to try and find uh, a way to watch the next game. They play Tuesday night against the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, so let's go over this Buffalo Sabres win in Washington in overtime against the Washington Capitals. There it goes. In the first period, at 4.05, it was Washington's Anthony Manta, a power play goal, his first of the season, assisted by Eric Gustafsson, his first of the season. And after one, it's one nothing Capitals. Uh, Uko Pekka Lekonen, uh looks like was in goal for the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, he went the whole game, it looks like. Uh, and Washington had two goalies go for them. But in the second period, at 425, it was Dylan Cousins for the Buffalo Sabres. His first on the power play. Assisted by J.J. Paterka, his first, and Lawrence Pilot. And it's 1-1. And then at 9-16, it was Buffalo's Tyson Kozak, his first of the preseason. Assisted by Riley Sheehan, his first, and Chase Prisky, his first. And it's 2-1 Sabres. And then at 9-42, it, it was Washington's Connor Sherry, the former Sabre, his first of the preseason. Assisted by... Alexei Protas, his first, and Nick Dowd, his first. And after two, it's a 2-2 game. And then in the third, it was Buffalo's Jack Quinn, his first of the season. On the power play, assisted by Brett Murray, his first, and Dylan Cousins, his first. Um, they say it went to OT. Uh, the, in OT, at 115, it was uh, Buffalo's Vinny Henestrosa, his first, assisted by Lawrence Pilot, his second of the game, his second of the preseason, and Rasmus Asplin, his first. And it's a 4-3 Sabres win, but they only show two Capitals that score. Oh, Jay Snively uh, was the other one uh, that tied it at three. Uh, but Uko Pekka Lekonen gets the win in goal for the Buffalo Sabres uh, in Washington against the Capitals uh, here in game one of the preseason. So a good win for these kids for the Buffalo Sabres. It was nice to see Dylan Cousins and Jack Quinn score. Uh, also Vinny Henestrosa and Tyson Kozak. What a win for these guys. What a win. Coach Granado has them playing good hockey, and if they could get some sort of power or yeah, some sort of power play uh, going this year, just like they did here, I think they could be a playoff team. I really do. If they can consistently uh, get a power play and score on the power play, uh, I think these kids, the Buffalo Sabers, can be a playoff team. Uh and it's nice to see that. Now let's go over the penalties. In the first at 2.48, it was Buffalo's Lawrence Pilot. Two minutes for holding. And at 18.15, it was Washington's Connor McMichael. Two minutes for tripping. In the second, it was at 3.21, it was Washington's uh, LAXA Protoss. Two minutes for hooking. And at 7.08, it was uh, Buffalo's Riley Sheehan. Two minutes for hooking. And then in the third, it was Washington's uh, Eric Gustafson. Two minutes for holding at 17.22. Washington had uh, Fukali in that and Shepard in that. And Buffalo had uh, Uko Pekka Lekonen. So Tuesday night, it's going to be interesting to see who plays. Is it going to be Eric Comrie? Is it going to be... 
uh, Malcolm Subban? Is it going to be Craig Anderson? Is it going to be Eric Portillo? Is it going to be Devin Levi? We don't know. But it's going to be interesting, I think. I think it might be Craig Anderson, uh, the veteran. I think they'll want to get him uh, between the pipes and get him some time. It most likely will be him and Eric Comrie. Uh, splitting the duties in goal for Buffalo uh, to start the season. But this is a very good start for Uko Pekka Lekonen. Um, and it should be, uh, this should be the final year of his development. He should be ready to take the next step if called upon into the NHL. Um, I think Craig Anderson is gone at the end of this year. He only signed a one-year deal. Um, so, uh, and Eric Comrie is here for two years. I think next year it'll be uh, Laconin and Comrie. Um, and then uh, they're, they're going to develop Devin Levi once he finishes college. Uh, he'll probably go to the AHL for a couple years. And then he'll come up and take Laconin's place, I think. Uh, we acquired Devin Levi in a trade with the Florida Panthers. He came over in that Sam Reinhart trade, uh, which I like that trade. Uh, it, it was a win-win for both teams. Um, Devin Levi, of course, has to go through the development stage. But uh, I, I do think, guys, I think... We're going to have a really good season this year. And like I said, if we could get any kind of consistent power play, this is going to be a playoff team. I think Don Granado takes these Buffalo Sabres to the playoffs this year. I have faith in Don Granado, and I have faith in Kevin Adams, who they just signed to a contract extension. So, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. Stay tuned for my Buffalo Bills at Miami Dolphins recap. What a tough loss, 21-19 for the Bills. Um, and the Michigan State Spartans got blown out by Minnesota 34-7. But, like I said, comment, like, subscribe, and go Sabres. Let's beat the Philadelphia Flyers on Tuesday. Stay tuned for my uh, Buffalo, my Philadelphia Flyers versus Buffalo Sabres uh, preview. That is in Buffalo, so um, that that's uh, stay tuned for my Philadelphia Flyers at Buffalo Sabres preview. And as always, go Sabres! Bye, guys.